The normal force is the force which a surface exerts perpendicular to itself, at right angles to itself, on a body that's resting on the surface. Let's say you stand on a bathroom scale. Now the bathroom scale gives its reading in kilograms as if it's giving you your mass. But in fact, it really should be calibrated in newtons in force, approximately 10 times more than the masses reading. But whatever reading you get there, if you were to convert it to newtons, that is actually equal to the normal force that the bathroom scale is exerting on you. If you put the bathroom scale on a horizontal surface, then that will also equal your weight. On a horizontal surface, normal force is just as strong as weight. Here we have the weight of the body, maybe, let's say, of you. And since this is a horizontal surface, the weight is acting at right angles to the surface. And the normal force acts exactly in the opposite direction to the weight in this case. And the normal force always acts at right angles to the surface. And since you're not accelerating vertically, the normal force and your weight are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. We can simplify these forces' labels as N and W, normal and weight. But now, if you put that bathroom scale on a slope, a slope is also called an inclined plane. If you put that bathroom scale on an inclined plane and now you stand on it, it will seem as if you've lost some mass, you've gone on a diet. Because now the normal force acting on you, which the bathroom scale measures, is now no longer your weight. It's a less than your weight. Why? Well, your weight still acts downward towards the center of the earth. But normal force doesn't always have to act upward away from the center of the earth. Normal force always acts at right angles to the surface that's exerting the normal force. To help us with this, here we have a Cartesian plane, with the x-axis horizontally and the y-axis vertically. Let's twist this Cartesian plane and put it over our slope so that the x-axis of the Cartesian plane lies on the slope. The y-axis is then perpendicular to the slope. The normal force will act along the y-axis now, the way the Cartesian plane is situated now. And the normal force will be as strong as the weight's component acting into the surface. In other words, W's Y component. So if we can find W's Y component, then we know what the normal force's magnitude is. Because the normal force is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to WY. WY is the Y component of the weight. So how do we find WY? We need to know the slope's angle. Let's call it theta. From geometry, you should be able to show that theta, the angle between the slope and the horizontal, is the same angle as the angle between weight, W, and the Y component of weight, WY. Using trigonometry, you should be able to show that WY is therefore equal to W cos theta. So let's say that we have an angle of slope of 30 degrees. Then the angle between W and WY is also 30 degrees. And WY is equal to W cos 30 degrees. Let's say that W is 520 newtons. So maybe you 52 kilograms and now you're standing on this bathroom scale. Your weight is 520 newtons if we round off. So what's WY? WY equals 520 newtons times cos 30 degrees. We do the calculation and we see that that's 450 newtons. That's the magnitude. We must also give the direction. The direction is into the slope. In other words, perpendicularly into the slope. And that's the force that the normal force balances. So the normal force's magnitude must also be 450 newtons. And it acts perpendicular to the slope upwards. Normal force always acts perpendicular to the slope upwards. So notice that the normal force that the surface exerts now is less than the weight of the object, and that's always the case on an inclined plane.